Alright guys, we've done our fair share of RPGs on this channel. We've done some Dragon Warrior, the Battle Network series. But it's about time we get to the RPG that started it all for me. Welcome to the Final Fantasy series, guys. And I figured, why not bring a friend along for the first installment? Introduce yourself! Hello everybody, my name is Bahamut Charizard465. He's an awesome Let's Player that I really like. Uh, he's done a lot of Final Fantasy games, well, namely 9 and 6 that he completed recently. And so I figured I'll bring him along for the journey. And in case you're wondering what you're looking at, because this is clearly not NES graphics, this is the FMV intro that the PlayStation and PlayStation Portable versions of the game would have. Wow. And the, the, the game gets nowhere near this epic, I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> I'm gonna turn down my volume. And that's kind of that's actually kind of shameful, to be honest, that it doesn't get that good. Yeah, I'm gonna blame the time for it because 1987. <laughs> Wasn't it the same for Zelda One though? Of uh, yes. I love the timing with the music, by the way. You yeah, he, you won't be able to hear that obviously, but I actually uh, do hear much it. When he, oh, oh, that's right, because it's coming into my mic slightly. Also, the character model design here is the Warrior of Light. That's the design they would use later for Dissidia, but I'm gonna tell you that, that guy appears nowhere else in the game. It's that specific, uh... Uh, yeah, that, that design is the Warrior of Light they would use for Dissidia. The, that, uh, because the main characters are called the Four Heroes of Light. There's, like, there's the White Mage, Black Mage... Uh, warrior, there's the, all and... the seven or so classes. But, yep, welcome to Final Fantasy, ladies and gents. And time for us to head to NES footage right about... Now. now. The world is veiled in darkness. The wind stops, the sea is wild, and the earth begins to rot. The people wait their only hope of prophecy. When the world is in darkness, four warriors will come. After a long journey, four young warriors arrive, each holding an orb. And that's all the story they give. Wasn't... Isn't there, like, a cliche... I think this is actually from, uh, Dragon Quest, like... Born from the mouth of a dragon, something like that. That all it's it's like a staple in some in like these word texts. This is how uh, this is how games were made. Uh, how like RPGs were made in the past before before something like Final Fantasy came along. They were all words, no visuals. Yep, Zork is a big thing of that. Anyway, time for us to choose our party members. I'm choosing a fighter due to the balanced damage. Named him Zell after the guy from Eight. We got a red mage because he can use a lot of black and white magic while still dealing decent damage. A black belt because, well, black belts are awesome, and I'm naming him Sid because the original Final Fantasy actually doesn't have a Sid. The remakes do, but not here. And a white mage who is a character that we all love from Nine. Welcome back, Ico. Yay, Ico. And then the game starts. Is there not enough room for? It? Wait, that that's it? It just goes straight into it like Zelda One? Yeah, uh, in that's the later oh. versions, namely the GBA. Oh, actually, no, I don't even think the PlayStation version added a little cutscene to start off the game, but the NES version just throws it right in. Anyway, welcome to the, the town of Cornel, uh, co area of Cornelia. 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 Yeah, Cornelia. Yeah. I almost said Corneria. That's actually Star fun. Fox. Uh, fun fact about that: in Final Fantasy IX, uh, the entire play scene is based off the first game. Yeah, I noticed. I, I love that. Anyway, the, apparently the princess here has been kidnapped by the knight named Garland, and the king, for some reason, decided to put these random four kids up to it. <laughs> and I'm gonna start off by going into the town of Cornelia to actually do some stuff. First off, let's explain what's going on here in the town. The inn there, inns are generally self-explanatory. They heal everything, MP, HP, but they also, they're also how you save here in the original game. The item shop there is self-explanatory. That thing you hear up there with the heart is the inn. Uh, the church, rather. Uh, that's where you revive your characters if you lose them. A uh, weapon Wait, if and you... armor shops are self-explanatory, and the shops up in the top left are black and white magic shops, because Final Fantasy is 1 through 3, you have to buy your magic. Wait, 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 lose them as in they, as in if they faint, then they actually die, and then you go to the church and you have to, like, resurrect them? Yes, uh, there is life potions you can get later on, but for now, that's the only way you can do it. That's really interesting. Yeah, anyway, here's the first shop sequences of the game. I'm buying a rapier <laughs> for both Zell and Zero, uh, wooden nunchucks for the monk, and uh, an iron hammer for the white mage because uh, the stabs aren't that good until much later in the game. Uh, the game does thankfully start you off with a decent amount of gold to get some stuff with, so that's a thing. <laughs> also, a uh, fun fact to the viewers, this is technically my longest Let's Play from the time I started recording it to the time it's getting uploaded because the footage right here is about a year old even at this point, which is February 28th, by the way, for future reference. But... 
the original recordings of these, this is actually the second time I recorded the, the footage for the game, I think dates back to 2012. Well, why, yeah, were, I, why were you postponing it so much? I was originally going to wait for my brother to be there with me because he's a big Final Fantasy nut. He's who got me into the series, but yeah. he has his own life. He's busy. We're both lifeless teenagers. <laughs> it makes sense. Same with, anyway, my, same with my sister. She's really into Final Fantasy. She, I think she'd yeah. like to be in one of these videos. P perhaps. Anyway, I bought <laughs> a chain mail for both Zell and Zero because Absorb is a good thing to have. Uh, I think right here I actually paused to explain what each of the stats does. Yes, I do. Uh, strength and agility are self-explanatory. Intelligence only really works for... It's supposed to work for black magic in later games, but I think it actually uses both the, for the magics in this game. Vitality, I think, uh, influences your HP stat. Luck is critical hit ratio. Uh, hit percentage and damage uh, influences how hard you hit. Evade is how much you miss, and Absorb is, how, is pretty much your defense. Evade is how much the enemy misses compared to you, right? Not how much yes. you miss, right? And for some reason, they got to work here, but not in 6. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, as I mentioned earlier, in the early Final Fantasy games, being 1, 2, and 3, you actually have to buy your magic. It's not learned naturally. And white magic here is honestly the most broken thing in the game, because you all, I there's challenge runs to play the game without white magic, but I have never done that, nor will I ever, because this game is hard enough as it is. Also, I apologize, Kenny, for any uh, black uh, glitchiness you're seeing. That that happens with Windows Media Player for some reason sometimes. Yeah, I, there, there's been a little bit of that, but yeah. I mean, anyway, it, I mean I just, it's okay for a little bit. So yeah, uh, I but I, I didn't actually buy anything in the black magic shop there or the white magic shop. Even I think I'm what I'm I'm explaining what I'm gonna do now. I I'm actually about to do my first oh. level grinding already. Oh, oh god. In I grind everyone up to level five. I think it took around 45 minutes. Not that long, all things considered, but. It's going to get worse <laughs> in part three of that, that's for sure. Wow, 45 minutes just to gain five levels so much easier in Final Fantasy. Uh, I would actually only recommend it around level three, but yeah. Anyway, here's a bit of a glitch. For some reason with the monk in specific, his absorb doesn't grow as you level up. It's supposed to, but it doesn't. It glitches out because it's supposed to be equivalent to his level. But you can thankfully fix that glitch by checking the armor screen and then checking his stats. That'll send it back up to where it's supposed to be. Though you can abuse that glitch if you want to have 50 absorb while you have a lower absorbing uh, equipment like a ribbon. Anyway, now I'm actually buying magic. I give I give the red mage a cure spell and the uh, white mage a cure spell, I believe. And then over here in the black magic, uh, I think I buy fire and that's a... About it, maybe lightning later on. Yeah, I buy lightning later so, on. So, uh, I know that in Final Fantasy V, when they introduced the Red Mage, I think it. No, well, no, 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 no. I mean, like in this one, but I remember in Final Fantasy V, this is where I most remember it. Uh, the Red Mage uh, could only use up to the uh, level two white and uh, white and black magic spells. Is that the case here? Or they can, or can they use up to Kirok, Kiraga, Fyraga, Thundaga? Uh, they like, can use up to level six. I think it is. Which is decent enough as it is. That's all I'm gonna need from them. Level six? Uh, I'm yeah, not really I familiar think. with that, with the, with those levels, because yeah, because this like, is actually back three. when we had spell charges instead of MP. Anyway, first random encounter is a great, uh, gray imp uh, known as uh, Goblin Guard in later translations. S 16 HP, no elemental affinity, so just attack them. They should go down rather easily. Oh man. You know, I really wish this game had some, uh, some kind of, shoot, what am I thinking? I, I wish it had some significantly, like, some significantly different boss themes, and, and especially final boss theme, but I guess I can forgive that since this was the first Final Fantasy game to begin with, so. Uh, you don't have to worry about that with this Let's Play series, actually, because I'm actually going to edit in the PlayStation Portable version boss music for when that's appropriate. And also the Final Fantasy IX boss music in the final area for reasons that people who played IX would know. And next new enemy is the original Imp. I'm surprised I ran into these guys later. These are goblins in later translations. 8 HP, no elemental affinity. Also notable, uh... You gotta notice people watching, I'm editing in these little callouts to have all their stats on them. You gotta notice that the little callouts change as we go on because I realized I was using the PSP mobile version stats for a bit. Like, uh, considering I have drops written down in my notes here when they don't have drops at all in Final Fantasy 1.
Should I use the final, uh, the boss music from Final Fantasy IX in the final area? What? Did you say you're gonna use the Final Fantasy IX boss music for the final area? Uh, in the final area, because uh, there's certain bosses in there that are also in nine. Oh, now I know what you're talking about. I remember now. I remember now. By the way, I love the victory theme. That's why I'm letting it play for a second here. Ah oh, man, I actually uh, really like Final Fantasy III's um... rendition of the victory theme. Yeah. Oh, so do I. It's actually my second favorite next to uh, Italy Sevens. Anyway, welcome to the Chaos Shrine where we meet our where we almost immediately meet our next new enemy. Uh, these guys are wolves. 20 HP, no elemental affinity. Don't worry, but just pretty much attack them. Also, it's weird. Uh, enemies actually have a range for attack stats in the Final Fantasy One. Uh, generally, one digit to its double. I think that has to do with the temper spell that you can get later on. So is temper like bravery in Final Fantasy Twelve? Uh, if I recall how bravery works, that doubles your attack stat, right? Uh, I don't think bravery doubles it. I think bravery just increases it. Yeah, pretty uh, much. Somewhat. It, well, doubling is a bit hard to say because it really just doesn't uh, work in increments. But yeah, it's pretty much bravery. It's been a while yeah. since I played twelve. Okay. I'm I'm Final Fantasy twelve is probably the most uh, time consuming Final Fantasy game ever. Oh, it I'm is. Still, it, it I'm speed still, run wise, I, it's still the longest. It's like forty hours even as a speed run. Oh my god. Well, I, I mean, it, like, perfect speedrun or just... Uh, they're working on a 100% speedrun. That's going to be somewhere in the 50s or 60s, I believe. Depending on, like, how, how they do, how they fare against Hellworm, Yazimat, uh, uh, Shadowseer. Uh. I, haven't f I, haven't, I haven't fought uh, Yazimat yet, so... And I've I'm, tried. Agree I never want to try again. <laughs> oh, I got I'm, 20 million in, or however it is, until he does have first full restore. Uh. He has a full restore on it. There's two points he can fully restore his HP, and it's a pain in the ass. Oh god. Anyway, next new enemy, spiders, known as Black Widows. Later translations. Uh, 28 HP, no elemental affinity. However, they can poison you with their physical attacks, if I recall. So watch out for that. Also, yeah. I, I just now realized we got the cap in that chest back there. I think I equipped that on zero. But uh, that's pretty much just a defense boost, if anything else. So, do the, do the ores exist in this game, like Mithril, Adamantite, all those things? Uh, Mithril and Adamantite do, in fact, uh, exist, and they're, like, key items to use for very specific things. Oh, the Adamantite especially. Oh, boy. When we get to that, like, part 11, uh, hmm, I, I love it. And like, with the Chaos what? Shrine, uh, there's... First off, it's very obviously a symmetrical area. There's chests in each of the four corners. However... I'm only getting the ones in the, on the left side for now because you can't get into the areas where the chests are on the right because they're locked in by a mystical door. We'll get those later on. Anyway, oh, for, time for a new enemy. I actually forgot about these guys. Zambies! 20 oh, HP, God. weak to fire and holy, uh, namely the heal spell. And they resist ice, earth, and all statuses. Um, I thought it was also... Oh, no, that's... Never mind. That's physical attacks. They're not really weak to it in Final Fantasy IV, which is really weird. Uh, they're, they're mostly not... only weak to holy. Uh, they're weak to some physical attacks, namely uh, Cecil's starting physical attacks because th he's dark elemental. Anyway, uh, time for probably the most... Uh, I keep on forgetting there's more random battles. <laughs> uh, next new enemy, Bone, known as Skeletons, very obviously in later translations. 10 HP, same thing... Uh, same pretty much deal as zombies. Weak to fire and holy, resist ice, bane, break, which is essentially stone, rub, sleep, and stun. Mind you, you're not going to have a lot of those abilities until much later. You know what I'd wish is that... Does, does, vanish, uh, does vanish exist in this game, or... Nope, no, but he will knock us all down. Oh, no. I never understood why they reused the name in 9. What? What? That, that early? Man, that phrase... First boss in the game is Garland. 106 HP, no elemental affinity. He'll only ever physically attack you, so do the same back at him. And heal if necessary. <laughs> that is probably the best quote ever. Some better than better, better than Kafka. I forget, even. does he... Uh, does the Garland in 9 quote that at all? It's been a while since... Oh, I don't... Not that I recall. Let me see if I can look that up. See if I can... Uh, I don't think he does. Then again, that's just the randomest reference to this guy ever. Uh, Final Fantasy Nine Garland. Let's see if we can find it on here. And he's dead. Uh, <laughs> wow. 
uh, Garland, Final Fantasy IX, uh, secondary antagonist, which doesn't- I feel like Garland should be the main- should be one of the main antagonists instead of just secondary, but... Yeah, anyway, this is the princess that we were told to rescue. And we talk to her, and she takes us back to the king, thankfully, as a shortcut. Make sure you talk to her, because she's gonna give you the loot. That might not seem important, but we're gonna need that much later in the game. And talking to the king will allow us to progress in the storyline by ordering the bridge to build to the other continent, because there's a bridge there that's broken. So now our quest to revive the orbs, which is the main story, by the way, if you didn't tell from the blue intro screen, which is vague as hell hell, has begun. Uh, no, Final Fantasy IX does not reference that at all, which makes, which honestly makes sense, because I feel like, uh, the Final Fantasy IX's Garland is way too sinister and sincere for that to be a thing. Yeah. Because, like, to have this... This old man who was created to foresee Terra, and he finds like no purpose in life, no purpose for a, no purpose for a name, nothing like that, and then all of a sudden to say, "I'll knock you all down." Yeah, that would that, be that 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 that, that wouldn't that wouldn't work. Anyway, here's the bridge that's rebuilt, and that's also the end of the prologue. And so the journey begins with the Final Fantasy main theme, which I predicted, but right, which I timed perfectly in his six LP hashtag shameless plug for him. What awaits the four? They do not know. Each holding an orb that 2,000 years ago shined with beauty from within, but now only darkness. Come, start your journey. Return the light of peace to our world. Programmed by Nacia, one programmer who would also later program Secret of Mana. Uh, yeah. Actually, if I, uh, I think if, I think, if I had this right, Nasir is the name of, I think it's the sailor who's part Lagoos in Fire Emblem Awakening. I believe it is. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, we're going to need to end this part off here. Thank you guys for watching, and in part two, we'll check out the new continents that we've gained access to from that bridge. See you guys See you then. guys then.